Hello and welcome to today's special event with eLotus. We have been hosting educational courses at eLotus for over two decades and we are proud to be your trusted source for premium CU content. With over 250 speakers, 900 courses, and 3,500 hours of continuing education. My name is Donna Chow and I'll be, and I'll be hosting and moderating today's class. We are happy you can join us today. We are excited to present today's webinar on allergy, sinusitis, and psoriasis, Dr. Jimmy Chang's Master Herbal Sheet with Dr. Jimmy Chang as our distinguished speaker. Dr. Chang is one of our top instructors out of 250 people that have presented over the past 20 years on the topic of herbs and pulse diagnosis. Our sponsor for today's webinar is Evergreen Herbs, who has been exclusively supplying Dr. Chang with herbs for over 25 years. Their commitment to quality and service has made them the ideal partner for Dr. Chang's clinical practice and research, and we are honored to have them as our sponsor for this webinar. Today's webinar will be held from 2 to 4 p.m. Pacific time. And before we begin, let's ensure that we are all set up for an engaging and informative session. For the chat room, please set your chat preference to everyone so that all attendees can see your messages and join the conversation. If you have any questions for the instructor, please type them into the Q&A box. And then after the session, a quiz will be available the following workday, and we will send an email notification once that's ready. Our speaker today is Dr. Jimmy Chang, a doctor of oriental medicine trained in Taiwan and a licensed acupuncturist in California. He has over 40 years of concentrated clinical experience training over 500,000 patients and applying his expertise in pulse diagnosis and herbal prescription. In today's class, you will learn the tried and true formulas from Dr. Jimmy Chang, the master of herbology, as he explores the art and science of his unique combinations. You can also learn the pulse indications for these specific conditions and how to prescribe a unique herbal formula for your patient. Dr. Chang previously taught a number of courses for us, which are now available as distant learning CEU videos. If you want to be able to diagnose a patient's pulse, identify Western medical diagnosis, and create clinically effective herbal formulas, Dr. Chang is the person to learn from. He will help you improve your pulse diagnosis and herbal skills. To learn his pulse system, we recommend the Gold Pass membership. Your yearly membership gives you unlimited access to his foundational pulse courses and herbs prior to 2020. And with the Gold Pass, you can also try the herbs he mentions because our sponsor, Evergreen Herbs, will provide you with an herb voucher worth the price of the Gold Pass. There really is no better value if you're seriously thinking about learning herbs and becoming proficient in them. To learn more, I'll post more information in the chat room. For now, let's get started with today's class with a quick overview of how Dr. Chang uses herbs because we do have some new students with each class and we don't want anyone to get lost. If you are a longtime student of Dr. Chang, please bear with me as I quickly review this information or feel free to step away for five minutes, do some qigong and get some tea. <laughs> Dr. Chang's herbal style differs from the traditional method that we all learned in school. And he also only uses extract powders exclusively with evergreen herbs. Now evergreen, they carry approximately 300 single herbs and 100 formulas. And Dr. Chang's pharmacy has 150 single herbs and formulas combined. If you're curious about his pharmacy, a link to a YouTube video is included in your lecture notes. By the end of today, if you're interested in starting a pharmacy like Dr. Chang, Evergreen Herbs has a special webinar promotion to have the essentials of Dr. Chang's pharmacy at 15% off, which is the webinar discount. So I'll post that link in the chat room for you in just a bit. Also, you can, con you can check your lecture notes for details and contact Evergreen Herbs or chat with us for more information. All right, so the formula evolution. Dr. Chang creates his own formulations that he frequently uses in his practice. He usually names the formulas after what it's used for, and these are more recent formulations, which may change as he sees more patients and modifies them accordingly. Whenever he updates a formula, he'll add 2.0 after it, so you'll know that there's a version 1 and a version 2. So next, what is Fang Jia Fang? If you're familiar, unfamiliar with the concept of Fang Jia Fang, it's the combination of different formulas to yield a better effect. It's possible to do it with raw herbs or extra, extract formulas. 
Each Evergreen's extract formula is decocted and extracted all together at the same time. It's not combining four different single herbs once it's already extracted to make a formula. So the idea behind Fang Jia Fang is to use formula plus formula, not all the single herbs together. This is like eating soup where all ingredients are cooked together versus eating at Chipotle where all the ingredients are added together to make a final product. If this doesn't make sense for you, Dr. John Chen has a video explaining Fang Jia Fang in greater detail to help you understand the concept. So check our YouTube channel for that. Dr. Chang prescribes herbs in 100 gram bottles or 150 grams if the patient is not local or the chronic, it's a chronic condition. So the bigger bottle allows the patient to receive a discount on herbs too. For a 100 gram bottle, he prescribes three spoons two to three times a day. So how do you read Dr. Chang's prescription? All right, so if Dr. Chang lists a few herbs and then a number at the end, that means all the, all the herbs before for that number is at that percentage. For example, let's use Dr. Chang's Sleep Combo 2.0. It has Suan Zao Ren Tang at 40, Yi Jiao Teng, He Huan Pi, and Zhu Tong Yin at 20. Can someone please tell me how many grams is Zhu Tong Yin? Go ahead and type it into the chat room. All right, so the Sleep Combo 2.0, let's say it's 100 gram total for the whole thing. 40 grams would be Suan Zao Rin Tang, which means there are three herbs left, Yi Jiao Teng, He Huan Pi, and Zhu Tong Yin. And if I'm doing my math correctly, that means each one is 20 grams each. Did you guys get that too? Awesome. Great work. Great. Next, you, do you have to mix the herbs yourself? You certainly can. Some formulas such as Circulation San Jiao and Astringent Herbal ABX have already been pre-mixed as the collection formulas over at Evergreen Herbs. Um, the collection formulas is Evergreen's proprietary line. And many of the new formulas are not pre-mixed yet because Dr. Cheng is still tinkering with them, still customizing them. So feel free to mix them on your own or use Dr. Cheng's formulas as a base to create your own formula. And that's it, you guys, for my very short intro. I hope it was informative for you. Let's go ahead and welcome Dr. Jimmy Cheng, who will take over from here. The steel mute. Okay. Hey guys, this is me again, Jimmy Chen. <laughs> Today I'm, I'm sorry about a little bit delay, but I'm going to talk about something very interesting: allergies, sinusitis, cirrhosis, cirrhosis. This uh, psoriasis. This is a very difficult problem, skin problem to treat. Very difficult and very severe. But the good news is that this kind of the formula is kind of um, very useful, huh? But we're gonna start with the allergy and uh, stuff. We're gonna share with you something pretty new. I, I believe you would never heard it before. Okay. The beautiful lady Donna talk about the Fang Jia Fang. Jia means plus. Fang means formula. So my combination is always the uh, combination of several formulas put together to get a better results. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you can find my uh, formula collection in Tina's website. It's very clear over there. Okay. Now let's begin. First part is the allergy. Huh? So usually we, we do not uh, see too much on, uh, on the ear, but I can show you this. This is the area for allergy. If you see some redness there, then it's allergy. And this is the respiratory system. Never mind, it's, it's the lung bronchi or the nose something, but this is the, the chest area. So if you see some darkness in there, that means blood stagnation. And usually this area is red and that's the allergy. But for this year, for example, see the spot? 
That's so-called inner ear. That means there's something dead blood in the inner ear system that will cause vertigo. And this type of vertigo is blood stasis. Uh, usually we treat vertigo with some ban sha tian ma bai zu tang, long dan xie gan tang, something. But this one, you must add some blood movers. For this groove here, that's the heart, ischemia. Maybe this guy is suffering from some kind of a murmur in his heart. And the, see this part there? That's the chest. If it's a lady, there's something in her breast. Be careful, huh? And this grooves, this line here, that means insomnia. Sleeping is no good. And see the dark spot here? That's the kidney stone, for your information. And this one, oh, I mean, no, not this one. This area is the thyroid. Not too bad. Okay. Let's get on with the allergy. First, you must get yourself uh, one of these. This thermal temperature gun, the infrared, because I want you to measure the temperature of your patient. First is this two area here and here. The difference, most of the time, this area is freezing cold and this area is pretty hot or they are equally freezing cold, freezing cold, or hot, or hot. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> so that could be several combinations. For example, if this, this area is cold and this area is cold, we can touch it with your fingers if you want to. Then we might use something warm to build up all the circulation in the nasal area to help the patient to fight against the cold wing invasion from, from outside. If one of them, then we'll have to use a little bit of warm medicine, like gui zi tang, ge gen tang, something like that. Or if this place is hot and this place is cold, or this place cold, hot and this is cold, that means the imbalance in the human body. Again, we might use the gui zi tang. Sometimes we must use the, the, the most popular, most useful formula, Xiao Cai Hu Tang, to balance the cold and heat and inside and outside. So if it's all hot, mm, that's simple. We can use only, yeah, you use my uh, US-1 and the uh, astringent complex, or just simply uh, ABX something to clear the heat. So I really suggest you should have one of these prepared in your office, the thermal gun, infrared. It's very easy. So most of the time, this area is cold because they're facing the outside wall. And this one supposed to be a little hot if the patient is strong enough to bring more uh, the, the, the blood circulation to the face. The human face, the three, the six channels passing through the, the, the whole face. So it's supposed to be most powerful most a thick defense line of a human body. But a nose with the openings can be, can be dangerous, can be weak, because it, it had direct contact with the outside air. So we, we must find out the temperature here and here. Okay? Sometimes you should find something here, the temperature here in the in tongue, there's a, a somewhere. I don't know the number. But here, if it's too cold, be careful with your medicine. Sometimes even you can use the si ni tang. Si ni, si means four. Ni means backward. Si ni tang is the hottest, very hot formula I ever used. Uh, even now it's summertime, but still, you know, people are sitting in the air conditioned room until too long, the temperature is too low or something. This area can be cold and uh, defendless. So we might use something to warm it up. So the nose will be more, have more blood circulation and the more temperature to fight against the allergy. Okay. As for the formula, okay. This is the uh, first condition, huh? Mm. The first one, 
is the right swing. Uh, let me let me use this word. The right swing is strong, and the right shi is long and wiry. The right swing floating here. Not floating means when you touch, this is the surface. When you touch the surface gently with your index finger, then this is number one, tsun, huh? So you feel the strong rebound, strong jump. That means that this is the place for tai yin. So that means the surface and yangming and da chang and long. So there's, in other words, this, this area refer, uh, refer to the surface condition. In this condition, it is floating and strong. That means surface heat. And right chi, right chi is here. Actually, mm, Chun, one, shi. Actually, is it should um, okay. extended all the way toward the heart. So this is could be the uh, uh, long and strong and taiyang. This is taiyang pulse. Taiyang means meridian. The taiyang is a uh, small intestine and bladder. Uh, the taiyang pulse that co uh, covers the entire neck. That's the entrance of the cold wing into the human body. But Tai Yang, the pause is strong, but sometimes it means coldness. Coldness needs your advice to tell the patient what to do and what not to do. So in this case, I ex I oh, let me. Hmm? Hmm? I designed a combination, which is very useful. First is the Y gun, Yihao, number one, external wing, number one. It's for everything from outside because actually, I know it's the summertime, it's supposed to be very hot, but not this year. But anyway, anyway, people into the, the, the air conditioned room or in the northern part is cold sometimes. And most dreadful things, they don't blow dry their hair after shampoo. They let it dry, especially ladies with long hairs. That's a very bad habit. And in the Qing dynasty, there's a there's a very big volumes of books are talking about uh, medicine or something. The number one is called head wing. So what is head wing? Head wing means because in Qing, Qing Dynasty, we don't have any hair, hair blowers. So they have to leave the hair dry in the air after they do the shampoo. I don't know how they shampoo it, but, but they have no way to blow dry it. So leave it dry. But in wintertime, the cold wing were invaded into the head and causing headaches forever. The head wing problem will cause headaches forever. And... Uh, most most dreadful thing is the ladies after giving a burst in Chinese tradition, we ask the lady to stay warm and do not wash her hairs for one month. The reason is just to 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 prevent the possibility for the cold wind to invade the lady's head. If he she blow her she didn't blow her blow dry her hair after shampoo, the cold wing into her head, the headaches will be there forever. So that's very dangerous. So the cold wing can be so invasive. So I I invented this competition. It's very simple. Why gan? Why means external gan means feedings. So actually it's called external wing combination, whatever you like to call it. It's combination of yin chao san and ge gen tang. Yin chao san, yin chao, yin means jin yin hua, qi, the rest of them are cold medicine. So cold medicine is good for the strong pulse here, for the inflammation. And the ge gen tang is the most useful formula you should, you must have it in your pharmacy. Ge gen tang, 
In California, we're not allowed to use ma huang, but some other areas, some other part of the world, ma huang is permitted. So if you have ma huang in your gegentang, then you're very lucky because ma huang can be very useful for expelling the cold wind out of a human body by giving some sweat. So we don't have it. So fine. Okay, let's do it. Gegentang is the most fast relief for the neck pain, not only for the wing, also for the bad gestures, for, for the bad conditions. I used, you know, Once I was treating a dentist, he uh, he suffered from the neck pain because he needs to move his arm to do the all the you know the the stuff in the mouth. But when he he had a, such a severe pain on his neck and arm, he cannot he could not perform his his daily job as a dentist. So I asked why what happened. I checked the pulse, but I know, but I didn't know what happened. Oh, finally he told me he was a military dentist. So he used to take sh cold shower every day. So taking a cold shower is a habit. But that day he caught cold wing after the cold shower. So cold wing into his neck. He couldn't lift his arm. And he was taking the, the muscle relaxant for two weeks. Nothing changed because he's a military doctor. So they give him muscle relaxants, a relaxant to supposed to release the tension of the uh, neck, but didn't work. But I gave him Gegentang with Ma Huang. That was time I, I was in Taiwan. So the pain went away in two days. He was so good and so grateful to my Chinese medicine. That he, he told me, it's unbelievable. It is, it's no big deal. That's, that's what we do. So Gegentang, even without the Ma Huang, you can still use for the patient who have neck pain, cold wing or not, for gesture or for twisted neck or for falling off the pillow, causing a lot of pain in the neck and shoulder. In my experience, almost 100% of my daily patients has this problem, the neck and shoulder problem. Sometimes it causes headaches, sometimes it causes even the numbness of the leg, of the feet, and also sometimes it causes the neck problem, cause the congestion in the chest and uh, nasal allergy, everything. So frankly, you should put more attention or to my pulse diagnosis to the left, I'm sorry, to the right shi, the right shi sometimes, the right shi chun guan not necessarily like I, I'm describing now, long and wiry, sometimes it's like a, Rainbow or a turtle pause. The turtle pause on the uh, uh, left, uh, right is the neck and shoulder. Okay. So, hmm. so the point. The area to find the problem of neck and shoulder is here. If it's dark, there's blood stagnation. If it's red, it's inflammation. Then you can use your herbs or your needle treatment accordingly. It works very well. And you see, the neck and shoulder and the chest are on the same level. So they are all connected. So most of the time, the problem in the chest was caused by the problem in the neck and shoulder not to say the headaches and migraines, huh? Okay. So the first formula I'm introducing to you now is the wing, external wing number one. You should have it mixed and prepared in your pharmacy. You can use it daily. I'm sure you're gonna use it almost for everyone, huh? Left one, right hand, left one is not. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the first formula I'm introducing to you. And there's a little problem here. Mm -hmm.
And this number, and this number, there is something I never spent time talking to you is, was the, uh, the proportion and how to prepare the herbs for your patients. And uh, why? I thought everybody should have known that. Everybody, it's so simple. The 35 means, you can say it's 35% or 35 gram, because I, I, I myself, I use 150 grams per bottle and gave it to my patients. But for the easier for explanation to you for the percentage, so I'm saying we use 100%, 100 gram. So 35 means in one bottle of herbs, this is use 35% or 35 gram. I get 35 grams, so put them all together is 100 gram. And the, at the end of the day, I will give you a little demonstration, just some pictures, how to mix the herbs and how to advise your patients to take the herb properly and how much dosage should it be. Some people give them, uh, uh, give the patient like 10 grams, 12 grams a day for, for adult. That's totally useless. We have a certain amount of dosage uh, to give to the patients. We will explain, explain it to you later. Huh? So for now, the 35 means 35% per bottle, and one bottle is 100 gram. Huh. I never thought this was a question until Tina reminded me that, that hey, some people don't understand what the, what the, what this number means. It's simple, I put them all together to make 100 gram a bottle. So the first 35 is the external. The second condition is astringent because the nasal congestion, the runny nose and sneezing and uh, very sensitive to cold surroundings or in the uh, in a very sensitive area. I have a patient that she, she lives in the uh, she lived by a golf course. Wow, well, the scenery is beautiful, the green grass and mountains, trees, but in golf course, they use a lot of, uh, you, you know, the, 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 what do you call it, the bug killers and all those chemicals to maintain the beautiful grass and for killing all those unnecessary bugs. So that stuff made her very sensitive. And all the time, not only the nasal, but the skin always itchy and runny nose and all the face is red and the eyes are red. Living in that beautiful surrounding, actually, it's like hell to her. So that's the, the uh, uh, condition we should talk about uh, with the patient and give the patient some advice how to fight against this, since you cannot move out of the area, but so we have to something to do to help to stop it or at least minimize to low lowest condition. Okay. So astringent, why do I use astringent? Because the pulse is strong and wiry and forceful. So that we that means we have fire. When we have fire, we use astringent to put out the fire to shrink. Astringent is my unique uh, combination. It's very, very useful for a lot of a uh, uh, situation, especially for the, let's simply say fire, heat, expanding. I use expanding uh, to, to describe this condition because all the tissues inside are swollen and the ear signs should be very red and swollen too. So, so what's the, uh, the ingredients in the astringent complex, you can check Tina's uh, medicine book the, the, on the website or whatever. They have my ingredients in there. This is all sour and bitter medicine. And I use 35%. And the last one is xue fu zu yu tang. Hmm, that's interesting. Xue, xue, xue means blood. Fu means area. Zu means expel the stagnation. 
So Xue Fu Zhu Yu Tang is the most famous formula in the blood moving as a blood mover. It works some somehow it works like aspirin. But anyway, why do I use this? Because whenever there's a fire, congestion, and all the inflammation, swollen tissues, even for common cold, there will be some kind of a blood stagnation. And to help the patient heal faster, I use 30%. But you must ask, or you should discover it by yourself. If the patient is taking any blood thinners, if they do, do not use this one. How do you know the patient is some kind of anemic? You can buy, um, can they see this? By looking at the, the pericardium six channel, this, this wrist area, if it looks so pale, then this patient might be some kind of anemic. So don't use that. Xue Fu Zhu Yu Tang is for patients with the darkness in the face, with the darkness in the nose area, in the cheeks, in the mouth, or in the, in the forehead, or the darkness in this area. That means his, his or hers whole body is full of uh, darkness, stagnation. And in addition to using this cold expelling medicine, we also must use some blood movers to get a better, the best results. Okay. Any questions? Shouldn't it be that sort Oh, okay. I am talking about my original uh, pause um, signs, but actually the left hand side is, but I believe most of the pe people here, most of the doctors here never learned my pause synergy number two. So let me just stick to the number one the, on the right hand side, huh? Okay, let me explain you to you. This right hand side, originally, this is chun surface, and this is the chi, neck and shoulder. But in my pulse synergy number two, this is tai yin, this is uh, shao yin, and this is jue yin. So entire right hand is yin. And on the contrary, the left hand side, this is a young. This is uh, Yang Ming. Uh, I'm sorry, this is uh, a Tai Yang. Uh, this is a Yang Ming. Uh, I'm sorry, this is uh, Tai Yang. And, and this is uh, Yang, uh, uh, Tai Yang. Dan, this is Dan Jing, and this is Xiao Chang. So this is stomach. A stomach, in number two, stomach is on the right-hand side, and this is the heart. So, so it's a little bit different. My number two is kind of opposite to my number one system. If you're interested, we might give a, a class next time. But now, uh, let's stick to the original, the right-hand side, the right twin is the surface, the lung and everything, and this is Taiyang, the neck and shoulder. You might say it's Dumai, okay? Hmm? I, uh, I moved the stomach from right guan to the left guan. The left guan used to be liver and gallbladder. Now I put stomach to it, like to put in and yang, two guy, a girl and a boy into one chair to put them together. Why? It's a little paradise. Uh, I'm sorry, paradox? No, it's the kind of a thing that happened in the real world because stomach always affected by gallbladder. So next time if you're treating a stomach problem, do not directly in add the stomach on the right hand 
are usually on the regional right one, but you also, also put attention to the left one. And you can, if the patient's major complaint is stomach, then you should treat stomach problem with gallbladder problem. It might be the channel. So let's put it simple, is Xiao Cai Hu Tang case, okay? Hmm. Okay. It's a little bit complicated, huh? But this one is for fire, for the real um, uh, allergy type. With, uh, with this astringent complex presented, this, this formula can, can be can be so mighty and useful, can do anything with the things in the nasal, stuffy nose, swelling, uh, the nasal inside, whatever, runny nose, runny eyes, running mm, everything, phlegm, everything with astringent complex is so powerful and so useful. You must have it in your clinic. Okay, next one. <clears throat> 